So today I wanted to show you my new sewing machine. Um, all my life I've, I've had, uh, well, not all my life, but beginning at 18, I've always had a sewing machine. Um, it was the first thing I bought with my graduation money after high school, and I've just always had one. I've had one in France, I've had one in the US, but they're usually, always, they are always new. They are always new machines, um, which aren't that expensive if you have never sewn before. You can get one for under a hundred dollars or euros. But um, because I want to be more eco-friendly and uh, use less electricity, less electric appliances, and and also um, just just um, be more vintage. <laughs> I don't know how you explain that, um, but uh, yeah, I want. I, yeah, you know me. I like my old things. Um, so this time, after I moved to France without my sewing machine, because obviously um, it's a different it's a different electrical system here, different voltage, and I wasn't really sure if that would be a wise idea. Um, I moved here and I decided to get an old sewing machine. So I went online and I looked around and I knew I wanted the kind that would go into the desk, the, the um, table, because that way I could fold it up, I could use it, set it aside, um, and uh, put a potted plant on top of it or something when I'm not using it. So I found this one online, 50 euros. I looked up the serial number and it is from 1923. It, um, it needed a new leather um, belt, so you can actually buy them on Amazon or eBay or something like that. So I replaced the belt. It does need a little bit of oil, which I have not done yet. Just got that. Um, I've learned how to thread it and thread the bobbin. And I'm just going to share that with you today in case you're interested in buying one of your own. Um, still kind of figuring out everything it does. I don't think, you know, it does anything elaborate. Goes forward, goes backwards. I don't think I can do a zigzag or anything like that. Um, but how often do I really do that? So, uh, yeah, it's got a, it's got a, a foot pedal down here um, to keep going. I've learned don't get your fingers caught in there. Don't get your finger caught in there. <laughs> that hurts. So, yes, I'm going to show you how to use this sewing machine to the best of my knowledge. Uh, as I said, I'm a beginner on these old sewing machines. I know how to use a new one, you know. So, um, yeah, let's begin. First, I really have to comment on the beauty of these old machines. I mean, the new ones just can't compare. It's, it's gorgeous. And they were really built to last. Of course, it can't do all the things a new one does. And it's extremely heavy because of this. But as long as you don't plan on taking it anywhere. This is the old fashioned bobbin. And I'm going to just be um, putting some of my green thread on it. So put your green thread on there. And then I believe you run it through that and then just a little hook there and a little hook there. Obviously, depending on the age of your machine, these things will be a little different. Um, for the bottom, this is a little odd. I also wonder if I could stick it through that hole. I, I'm going to do that actually. Um, 
seems like it'd be easier. Uh, stick it through the hole. And now you gotta like catch it. I don't know if you can see this. And you put it in there. The other end, right there. And uh, you pull that a little tighter. And let's see, is it on? Okay. It's a little loose before that end. What happened? It got stuck on something. Oh, I see. There we go. Got it. Stuck on the wrong side. So, make sure that they are in all their little holes. Get it tight. You want to disengage. There's a there's a little round. Why do I forget words whenever I'm recording? There's this knob. You turn it towards yourself to disengage the needle. You tilt this up so that little wheel is on there. And you put your foot on the pedal and you start moving. Sorry, I used my hand. And it's filling up the bobbin. <laughs> I'm not going to do too much of this because this is just a demonstration. So now I have uh, that back down. Now I have thread on my bobbin. Okay, so to thread the machine, uh, take your thread. Uh, you can put it this way as well. I don't think it really makes a difference. Put it there. And then this is the tension control. You want to get through there and depending on your machine, I, I have not seen um, a tutorial for my exact machine, but there's a little, little tiny uh, wire here that you should get it caught on. And then, oh, see mine doesn't want to stay in that little wire, so I feel like I'm not quite doing it right. But um, I think it should go in there, and then up through there. See, it comes out. I am not. I really don't know what I'm doing wrong there. If anyone else knows, <laughs> please help me out, because it doesn't really want to stay. I don't know. Just do it that way. Then there's another little hole here. I do. It's stuck. I was just thinking my thread is too long here. <laughs> Hard to work with when it's so long. So, okay. So it went through there, and now there's a little, little metal hook right there as well, and then it'll go through the needle, and which is a little difficult do without sticking my head in the way, but, oh, I almost got it, I think I got it, yay, I got it, <laughs> I actually have this cute little um, hummingbird uh, needle threader somewhere, it's so cute, but okay, so that's in there, I'm gonna have that up, and then for the bobbin, this is an interesting thing. I already have a bobbin loaded in here, but I will show you how to do that too. One second. Okay, so this is the little bobbin shuttle. It's not the one uh, that came with my machine because that one, it didn't, it didn't work. I don't know where I put that. Um, it was not working. Uh, fortunately, I found these on Amazon and I think because of the little groove, it stays in there better and it catches the thread, which the other one was not doing. So, uh, yeah, make sure you get the right shuttle. I don't know how the last person sewed anything. Anyway, so here's a little bobbin and this is uh, the thread that was on it when I bought it. 
So I, I don't know how long it's been there, who used this last, it's a mystery. So you will put the bobbin inside the little shuttle. You will hold, hold it there. Don't, uh, there's a little slot here and you want it to go down in the slot and all the way down there. And then you're gonna bring it up again and it should, no. You want it to catch and go in here. There we go. So there it is, it's in there. And now it's ready to be loaded into the machine. All right, so that slides open. And there's a little, I don't know what you call anything. So <laughs> there's a place for the shuttle. It's a launch pad, I don't know. So you'll move the, the wheel so that that is where you can get to it. And you're going to put this in like that. And you're going to just tuck that down there, I guess. Oops, I'm just stuck on that thing. Is that okay? I wonder if that's what it's for. Who knows? It could be, actually. Why else would it be there? Let's tuck it in there. So, there's that. Actually, do we want this up here? Sorry, I played around with this, but I haven't sewn anything yet. Um, so let's see. I'm gonna take both the pieces of thread, and I'm just gonna go like that. And maybe I'll just gonna put some cloth in there because I can't tell if it caught. No, I don't think it did. Feeling all tangled right there. Mm. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. Let's see. Oh, that's backwards. <laughs> oh, come on, forwards. to adjust the tension and still figuring that out, but uh, we, made, we made a stitch. So I also need to do something about that. I can't have that on my clothes. So yeah, that's how that works. So that's my new machine. And um, if you have any tips for me, please let me know. I, I'd like to learn how to use it better. Uh, my first project, as soon as I sort that out, is going to be this. It's a coat from the 20s or 30s that was given to me and as you can see it needs a new lining. So I bought this beautiful um, kind of dusty pink silk fabric that I'm going to use and I can't wait to get started on that because it's the 20s and where am I without my 20s coat? And some 20s dresses. I need some 20s dresses. Mm. I'm not prepared for this decade. So, at least I got my 20s sewing machine though, right? Uh, anyway, that's that. I hope you enjoyed meeting my new singer, and I'll see you next time.